This is News 4 Nashville. Good evening, everyone. One of the men charged in the death of Dallas Barrett at Whiskey Row found out today he is not immediately going to jail. News 4's Marissa Sulik was the only reporter in the courtroom today. And she has more on how today's hearing had nothing to do with the murder charge. Mark Watkins was working as a security guard at Whiskey Row, who witnesses say held down Dallas Barrett the night he died from asphyxiation. But two months before that, he was charged with a DUI and put on probation. So did he violate that probation by being at Whiskey Row? Watkins listened as Detective David Studer detailed what police say happened the night Barrett died. Mr. Watkins advised me that he was working the front doors of the, night of the incident. And uh, I guess when the event went down, um, he heard a code red over the radio. So when he heard a code red, he couldn't leave the front door right away. Detective Studer says Watkins' security guard application at Whiskey Row was still pending. He shouldn't have been working there. The detective pointed out Watkins in a video shared in court. He says Watkins held down Barrett's friend, Braden Anderson, and later, Barrett himself. He noticed that Mr. Barrett was trying to get up with his left hand and uh, so that's when he said during the interview that uh, he took uh, Mr. Barrett's left hand and pulled it out and then placed it behind his uh, back and held it there. Detective Studer says Watkins did that so Barrett couldn't get off the ground. But Watkins' attorney says of all those charged, his client held Barrett the least. Of the six people charged here, would it be accurate to say that Mr. Watkins had the least physical contact with Mr. Barrett. Probably, it could be the least. Okay. That'd be fairly, fairly accurate. Judge Blackburn decided to continue the case and his probation, which didn't sit well with Barrett's mother, who wants jail time. I mean, I'm fine. I'm very disappointed, aggravated that, you know, this kid killed my son. He was already on probation before that, and now he's still walking around, smiling, going out of the courthouse. I guess all we can do is hope that uh, what happened to Dallas Barrett doesn't happen to someone else. Watkins will be back in July to check in on his probation. The judge says she wants to see if he's convicted in Barrett's murder first. A few other security guards also have scheduled court dates for prior crimes before they have to go to trial for Barrett's death. Marissa Sulek, News 4 Nashville.